name is Matthew and I make ceramics under the name Ghostwares. I began pottery classes as a weekend hobby and going in not knowing much about ceramics I became very quickly interested in the properties of clay and how the entire process worked. Coming from an interior design and architecture background, what I found so freeing about this was how quickly one could get something done and to be able to see a result that you can go back and iterate and evolve and change and opening up the way that design works for me was incredibly rewarding. I finished a Bachelor of Architecture in 2012 and at that point I'd already picked up a job in the industry so I worked in the industry for a few years. So I was still working full time at my day job when I was taking pottery classes and I became more and more interested in the craft so I started spending evenings and weekends just practicing and researching and learning about ceramics. With that I started making things in my backyard and um, eventually people wanted to buy some of those things which was interesting um, and basically just following that path I was able to eventually transition out of architecture and into being a full-time potter. My intention is to make objects that are playful but elegant. So um, I want each object to feel precious and um, special to someone, but also timeless. I began making ceramics because I wanted to make objects that I like. And I'm still pretty much doing it for the same reason. But as I've learned more about clay and its properties and where it comes from, I've started to think about it more as mountains that have broken down over time. As these mountains break down, they leave the soft substance that I can work with, and it's pliable and it's malleable. And what that means is I can create what I want and turn that back into its rock-like state. I try not to put too much decoration into my work. I want it to feel as if just the clay itself is expressing what it wanted to be. And so there's an element of simplicity in what I create. I know that each piece that I make won't last forever, but I believe that some of them might last a little bit longer than me. And with that sense of longevity, I try to create items that are timeless, 